Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, NWO Stevie Breach here coming to you. And um, I have forced myself into the studio here tonight to talk about The Rock against CM Punk at the Royal Rumble. I know that I am looking uh, into the future here, and I'm looking past the TLC pay-per-view, but honestly, I don't know that many people that are really that hyped up for this uh, TLC pay-per-view. I think it's sort of a throwaway pay-per-view at the end of December. Yeah, you gotta have one. You gotta make that money. Uh, put John Cena in there in the main event. And uh, a lot of kiddies that go right into their parents. Asking to get the pay-per-view as uh, one of their Christmas presents. And you have pay-per-view buys. Um, but, um, I don't know. This week, my eyes sort of uh, uh, bugged out of their uh, sockets a little bit. Um, you, know, the, you know, every once in a while... WWE throws something together, and um, it's good that you don't read the sites. You know, you're not searching the dirt sheets for this, that, and the other. And um, the last couple weeks, I've uh, been real busy, and maybe I haven't been keeping up on uh, um, the sites as much, but I've been listening to the Observer Radio, and they haven't really talked about it on there or anything like that. But um, good buddy out there, uh, Sean Blackford, uh, hit me up on Twitter and was asking me uh, what I thought about uh, doing the whole uh, streak for streak at WrestleMania. And honestly, that was one of those things that's just like, once you hear it, it's just like, damn, that's a fucking good idea. Of uh, once, you, once you're getting down to the, uh, the whole uh, WrestleMania, uh, you get CM Punk. Going up against Undertaker. Uh, of course, this means that you have to get uh, the Punk through the Rock, through Ryback, through something at the Elimination Chamber before you can get him there. Um, but, damn, that's good money. And, I mean, they're desperate right now to make stars. They're desperate to get uh, CM Punk to the point of uh, becoming more of a... CM Punk's a star. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he... If they would have pushed him as you know being more of a champion for the last year instead of just having him as the champion, and he's wrestling those matches sort of in the middle of the card, maybe the the, the match before the Divas match before the main event uh, to give it a little space, you know, always uh, letting John Cena be out there in the main event. Um, there was a few shows to come to mind. I mean, uh, John Cena uh, going up against um, John Laurinaitis. And uh, John Cena going up against Big Show, you know, those really didn't need to be the main event. I mean, it might have been the focus of Monday Night Raw, but the focus of pay-per-views need to be on the championship. It needs to be the most important thing. And I mean, uh, you know, if they, if they would have worked that around, maybe Punk would be a bigger deal uh, than he is now. I mean, um, you know, everybody loves CM Punk, uh, but I don't, I don't think CM Punk's the biggest name outside of wrestling circles that uh, a lot of other people think they are. I think when people are uh, going through the channels and they're flipping around and they see this, that, and the other, if they see uh, John Cena when they're flipping, uh, they'll, they'll probably stop. Uh, if they see CM Punk, I'm not sure every, every wrestling fan out there that, that doesn't watch it for a week is going to. Now, if you can get him there and, and you can have him fight you know, The Rock, if you can have him fight uh, Undertaker, I, I think you've, you've had to to put CM Punk to the to the highest point you can put him at. He has to become one of those stars. But, I mean, do you really have The Rock come in to Royal Rumble for a main event title shot and have him lose? I mean, that's just... I, I don't think there's any chance in hell that they're going to do that. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of what they did. I mean, basically, uh, The Rock, I love the guy. Uh, he, he's done everything in the world and you know there was you know days in the past that that he was the top guy and um i think he's a big movie star this that and the other and i'm really grateful that he's came back to wrestling and um done everything that he can do but i think them giving him this title shot at the royal rumble is everything that is wrong with the rock coming back to wrestling um there was no build up to it he just showed up at the 1000th raw and said that he was given a shot at the Royal Rumble, which was months and months away, way down the road. He didn't earn it. He didn't have any feud built up. He didn't, like, um, you know, have a feud with a guy and, and challenged him. <laughs> he just said, I'm showing up at the Rumble, and I'm getting a title shot. It, it just, 
doesn't make sense. It makes you scratch your head. Like, does that mean Hogan's getting a, a title shot at some pay-per-view? Or any legend can just sort of ask for a title shot and they're going to get it months down the road and we're not going to, you know, do it? Obviously, they had plans that they, you know, were, were moving around and uh, they knew that they could either have big matches with The Rock if they get, got two guys there. They just had to, you know, put the trains in motion and, and get to there and then they knew... You know, with what you know, ratings were doing and and how people were buzzing about stuff. You know, what the hottest match to be. I honestly thought the best match they could put out there um, was John Cena versus The Rock. I think that's uh, more money they can make. But you put um, Punk out there with Rock, and I think you're gonna make Punk a bigger star now. I I say that I hated this idea. I hated this idea so much that uh, you know. The second they said he was going to do it, and the second that it hit my brain, I bought plane tickets to Phoenix, and I bought tickets to the Royal Rumble, mainly because I wanted to see The Rock win, uh, win it. Now, man, we've already seen at the Raw, Raw 1000, Rock come down and try to save the day, and Punk turned heel on him and hit the GTS. Now, as far as I can remember, I don't think that we've seen The Rock show up since then, so The Rock really hasn't you know, really done anything to get his revenge except, you know, spit some stuff on Twitter and him and CM Punk go back and forth. And I think there was a badass picture of uh, Rock working out in the Best in the World shirt sort of saying that he was the real uh, Best in the World. Now, I love the, this thing with the Shield. I mean, I can't think of the last thing that, you know, Raw's happened and I've watched a segment of Raw every day to make sure that it's fresh in my mind because I... I I think it's that cool. I mean, it, probably not since the Nexus uh, debut where they came out and they beat up CM Punk and John Cena. I can't think of anything that I wanted to watch over and over and over again. Now, I, I love the Shield. I love the idea of you know a group of guys helping CM Punk keep the title because uh, I think that's where they're going with it. But they can't do that for pay-per-views in a row because I, I really think they're going to have something to do uh, with the CLC pay-per-view. Now, you know, they, it just doesn't make sense that Punk needs, you know, help at, what do we do? We had Survivor Series, um, then we're gonna have TLC, we had Brad Maddox, uh, who I don't know when we're gonna see again, but he was, you know, loosely aligned with CM Punk and sort of like the Shield sort of deal. Um, on a side note, the sooner we see Brad, Brad, Brad Maddox come back, the happier I will be. Um, but I, I don't think that you could do that with The Rock. Now, if The Rock just flat out sh uh, sh shows up to the event and everybody thinks he's going to put the title on him and CM Punk just blatantly gets disqualified just by kicking him in the nuts or, you know, taking there or maybe even just grabbing his belt and running off with it, you know, because The Rock only is guaranteed this one title shot. He's not guaranteed anything else. All CM Punk has to do is survive by like disqualification or a count out. He doesn't have to beat The Rock. But, I mean, if he just hits him with a chair and gets disqualified, is is there any way in the world the fans of Phoenix are going to let CM Punk leave? <laughs> I mean, good God, that place would explode and everyone in the world would hate him. Uh, ten times over. I mean, that, he's a heel now. And, and they're dying trying to get people to really, really boo this guy. But man, that would do it. <laughs> uh, that would really do it. I, I'm, I really am hoping that the only thing in the world that's going to happen is that The Rock does win that title. And no matter what they do, I don't care if The Rock has a title to get him to WrestleMania. I don't care if he doesn't show up at Elimination Chamber. You get up two Elimination Chamber matches and... Um, Show some, you know, uh, via satellite interview from The Rock challenging the guy once he's going to win it, or once the guy wins it, uh, that he's going to beat him at WrestleMania because via satellite is what The Rock does best. But um, we're coming up on that time of year, man, when it's just money and it's just magic. But, I mean, if they really are going to have Punk beat The Rock and then go on and uh, try, try to even, uh, and beat the streak at WrestleMania, I mean, there's no way in the world Punk's not going to be one of the biggest names in wrestling. I think he is one of the biggest names, but I think one of the broader, you know, to, to everybody else, to, to the guy next door who's reading comic books right now, but is, isn't watching Raw every week. I mean, that's that's one way to really hook somebody that there is a real real star out there for you. It's not going to make you Hulk Hogan uh, or something like that, but it is going to make you a big name, 
uh, today, today, and it is a way to, you know, really make a star, saying that he really has beat these guys, because I've been sort of against them in the past, saying that he hasn't really beat anybody, beating guys like uh, Daniel Bryan and Alberto Del Rio and The Miz, um, and stuff like that. He did, he did survive matches with John Cena, but... I mean, when you really look back on it, none of those matches really matter because a lot of them weren't even in the main event. And the ones that were in the main event uh, just didn't matter. I mean, last year, TLC, it was a uh, TLC match, a three-way with Alberto Del Rio and The Miz, and bleh, it sucked. Um, yeah, it, it was probably good. I haven't watched it in a year. Uh, but I mean, like, looking back, it, it just has no significance and it just doesn't matter. But you want to make a guy... That's it. My money's still on The Rock to win, but if if The Rock does uh, not win the title and uh, Punk loses, I will run around uh, Phoenix till I find Luke Cage, and I will give him the biggest man hug I can, and we will cry our eyes out about how uh, we were screwed, because the only reason I'm going to Phoenix is to see The Rock win the title, and that's what I want to happen. <sighs> Even if it is uh, Rock vs. Cena, I will love it. I know a lot of people will hate it, saying that the sequels don't work out. But, I mean, the one thing I can do is, I mean, uh, WrestleMania 15 is a damn good match. Rock vs. Austin. But Rock vs. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Rock vs. Austin at WrestleMania 17 is what a lot of people say is one of the best matches of all time. Headlining one of the best pay-per-views of all time, one of the best WrestleManias of all time. So... Rematches can't be all that bad. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing that's what it's going to be, but to me, Rock vs. Cena 1 was big, uh, but the match wasn't great. Uh, so, I mean, this one might be, you know, not as big, because people not, might not care about it, but the match might be better. And we might get uh, Cena not trying the people's elbow, doing one of the worst imitations of all time. But that's me. Rock vs. Cena. That, that, that's my bet for WrestleMania, but Rock vs. Punk at the Rumble. What do you guys think is going to happen? Peace out, guys.